what you have seen across the last few weeks is a gentle ratcheting up and down of the line of contact. I think that is very much uh, the way that Russia keeps the pressure on the process that they would like to see go forward uh, as far as Minsk. And I think it would be a good time to remember that Minsk in the end means restoring the international border of Ukraine, the internationally recognized border of Ukraine. And there are a lot of actions that Russia needs to take to move forward towards restoring that border. The situation is a bit calmer now than it has been in the past. But as we talked about just a few minutes ago, the, the ratcheting up and down of tensions along the line of contact, I think, are being used as a way to signal, uh, you know, uh, lack of satisfaction with how the, the mince process is moving along. I think that Russia is completely in control of what's happening on that line of contact, and, and they will use that as a tool in the future. As to what's happening in the rear area, it is a continuation of the past. We've seen multiple convoys, as you know, across the months and years now almost uh, into the uh, um, uh, Donbass. They have all been labeled as humanitarian support. We all know that is not correct. Uh, and these are things that we'll just have to monitor also into the future.